Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Nukem Guitar Lessons. My name is Josh Nukem. Today we're going to be covering how to play Brown Eyed Girl by Van Morrison. Super popular song. There's four chords in the song. G major, C major, D major, and E minor. Let's hop into it. Alright guys, first chord used in Brown Eyed Girl is a G major chord. Um, so the first note would be played with your ring finger uh, on the low E string, which is this top string. Uh, so you put that there, that's a G note. Uh, then you use your index finger on the A string, which is the second string. Um, and that is a B note. Then on the last string, the high E string, you play another G note. Uh, it's good to play this with your pinky. Um, but if that's too difficult at first, then uh, you can use your ring finger. So that's G, B, G. Uh, on the second string, the A string, you'll take your ring finger and place it on the third fret, and that's a C note. Then you'll take your middle finger and place it on the third string, the D string, that's an E note. Then you'll skip a string. You skip this G string right here and you go to the B string, the second from last string. Uh, use your index finger on the first fret and that's a C note. So all together that makes a C major chord. And you wanna play all the strings except for this top low E string. The third chord you use in Brown Eyed Girl is D major. Uh, so this starts on the third from last string, the G string right here. Uh, you put your index finger on the second fret, which is an A note. Then you put your ring finger on the third fret of the B string, which is the second from last string, uh, and that is a D note. And then you put your middle finger on the second fret of the last string, the high E string, uh, and that is a F sharp. So on this chord you just want to play the last four strings starting uh, with the D string. So that's what makes it a D major. Alright guys, the fourth and final chord only used in the chorus is the E minor chord. Um, you're not going to play this low E on the top and you're going to take your middle finger and your ring finger and put them on the second fret of the A and the D string. So that is a B and an E. And that makes E minor. All right guys, so for the strumming pattern, I'm gonna show you the verse. Um, it's pretty consistent. There's uh, four lines that repeat this before it goes into the chorus. Uh, and so it goes G major, C major, G major, D major. So the pattern goes down, down, up, up, down, up. C major, down, down, up, up, down, up. G major, down, down, up, up, down, up. D major, down, down, up, up, down, up. So all together it goes. So the chorus is the same strumming pattern. Um, he adds in an E minor chord and changes up the order of the chords a little bit. So when the chorus starts, he starts on a C major. Um, and so this, if you're more advanced at guitar, this changes the key uh, technically. So you can sing a little bit differently and it's a cool technique to be able to switch between keys. Um, so you start on C major, same strumming pattern. Then you go to D major. Then you go to G major, then you go to E minor, then you go to C major, to D major, 
to G major, and that's the end of the course. So C major, D major, G major, E minor, C major, D major, G major. And then you're back to the verse, which is G, C, D, G. So I'll play the chorus real quick for you. Last thing I'd like to do is play through a verse and a chorus together so you can see how that kind of goes together. Uh, I'm going to do it slow and then I'm going to speed it up to real time. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe below and comment any feedback. I would love to improve my videos in the future. So here it goes. All right, real time. 